Thank you, Melissa. It's Faith Time, our weekly discussion on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Pastor Harold McWilliams of Greater Zion Tabernacle Baptist Church. Thank you for coming in this morning, sir. Thank you, Chad. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And one of the things that we've been doing with this segment generally is talking about matters of faith generally around the liturgical calendar. And I knew there would come a Sunday where we would have to kind of shift things to talk about current events. You called me on Friday, suggested that we talk about the last week and what's happened in America. It has been a rough week in this country, and a lot of people turn to their faith in times like these. What would you say to your congregation today in to light of what's faith. happened? Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. There's a passage in 2 Chronicles that said, God visited Solomon and he says, if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face. And when you do that, your faith is built by believing that God is able to change things. Prayer changes things. We talk about prayer. We see some of the video. Some of the video I'd like to show you this morning is also from the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office from just last Friday where a group gathered to pray for what happened in Dallas. When you pray to God after events like what happened in Dallas and, and this week, what do you ask for? I ask for peace. I ask for understanding. I ask that God take a hand in what's going on. See, we've We've departed from our faith. On our dollar bill, we're saying, God, we trust. But then we turn to man to fix our problems. He can't fix them. We talk about asking for prayers of peace quite a lot, especially in light of what happened this past week. And to you, what does it mean to ask for peace? How does that manifest itself? Well, God is a God of peace, of power, of judgment. And if, if we don't give him the, the avenue to come to us, the avenue to straighten out our problems, then what we're doing, we're saying that God's not powerful enough to do it. He's a creator. He created everything that we see. We've seen protests around the country just last night. We've had protests and vigils in Mobile since the shooting death of Michael Moore, for example. But at least here, it has been peaceful. How do you think faith plays a role in keeping things peaceful? Because when we pray to God, we believe that he can change things. If we believe that, if we get faith in our hearts and our minds, believing that God has, has the power to change things, then it puts us in another category. The country right now is in turmoil because they don't understand that this, everything that's bad isn't bad as we see it. Sometimes things are allowed that we might seek him. I think that's one of the hardest things for Christians or anybody in any religion to understand that sometimes bad things happen that may be part of a larger plan. How do you explain that to people? Well, I, I, I tell them that our thoughts are not God's thoughts. His thoughts is far above ours. I, our mind is not his mind. He has, he has the power to change hearts and minds, but you have to, free will is something he's given us. So we have to have free will. We have to ask them, hey, I want to serve you, you know. When people leave your service today or when they leave their other houses of worship today, what do you hope people come away with this Sunday? A mindset that Jesus can change this situation. In this last few days, what, do you, what have you learned about the country and the people that you've come in contact with? What have, what have people said to you and what have people asked you about these tragedies? People have asked me, say, why is this happening? It's happening because we are not praying. We're, the churches have went down to almost nobody because they, they want to seek man instead of God. God has already told us faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. If we hear the word and we react on it, we pray. And I mean, I'm calling pastors, uh, preachers, evangelists, prophets, elders, lay people in the church. Every church should be praying. They should be on their knees because this is a test to see if we can, we can stay in our faith. Well, it's a good message today to pray and pray for peace. Pastor Harold McWilliams with Greater Zion Tabernacle Baptist Church, thank you so very much for joining thank you, us Chad. this morning, sir. News 5 this morning will continue after the break.